Hey everyone, Will Mitchell here, the regional owner of Remax in Belize, and I've had so many of you guys emailing me, calling me, asking about banking in Belize, and I can try to you know, put together the best information for you guys, but I figured let's take it one step further. I'm currently sitting in Key International Bank with the senior VP, head of private banking, Luigi Vivigi. Luigi, thank you man for taking thank the you, time. Will. I know that this is gonna be massive for you guys to get information, and also we'll share their contact information within the video, so. Uh, I guess to start, just tell us a little bit about Key Bank and what you guys do. Yeah, so Key started as a mortgage company in 1996. Uh, we became a licensed bank in 2003, and we're actually now the only internationally licensed bank uh, headquartered on the beautiful island of Inverges Key. As far as you know, currency goes within your bank and within Belize, how does that look? Yeah, so Belize has its own local currency. It's pegged to the US dollar two to one. Uh, and this gives people confidence um, in banking in Belize because they know that their money is not going to be devalued. Yeah, of course. And I guess another big asset for Americans and potentially Canadians and other you know countries looking down here is that it is an inter international bank that operates in international currencies. And especially for US account holders, you know, you can do business all around the world in USD real estate in Belize is listed in USD. A lot of the transactions happen in USD as well, so that's huge. Yeah, and we're also an internationally licensed bank, so we also deal in British pounds, Swiss francs, euros, and, and Canadian dollars, and, and obviously, as you mentioned, the, the US dollars as well. Wow, so, so many options there, and you know, so much potential as far as foreign investment coming in here and foreign banking. Um, what about reserve requirements for Key Bank and for Belize in general? Yes, yeah, so, so Belize is one of the highest in the world. Uh, essentially, the, the bank reserve requirements are about four or five times higher than those in North America. Uh, and Keys is basically set at around 24%, so one of the highest of, of any global bank. Okay, great. Well, I know for so many people when they come down and they hear that, they always bring up 2008, 2009 and all the bank failures and that all stemmed from a fractional reserve system. When you look at Belize with these you know, high reserve requirements, it really is something that creates a very safe and secure banking system. So I love that about Belize and I love that about your guys' bank. So the other day you were telling me about kind of you know, privacy in the banking industry here with regards to your account. Can you tell everyone a little bit more about that as well? Yeah, there's, there's several positives to banking in Belize. Obviously, first, as you've alluded to, is the Belize Bank Secrecy Act. Uh, we also have no exchange controls in Belize, so you can wire your money in and out whenever you want. Uh, and we're also zero tax jurisdiction. And obviously, for you in the property game, uh, the fact that it's a common law country as opposed to civil um, is yeah. a huge benefit as well. For sure, for sure. I mean, for everyone looking at Belize, I'm sure they're already aware of this, but if you're not, one of the key benefits of the real estate industry in Belize, the legal system, is that it's British common law, full foreign ownership, fee simple title. When you contrast that to Napoleonic civil law in other countries in the region, which is a two-tier ownership structure, it really provides tremendous benefit. And for me as a real estate investor, you know, I'll look at other markets, I'll look at other countries, but I won't touch anything that doesn't at least check those boxes first. So that's a huge thing. I guess let's close off just by telling everyone how they can open an account. What's the process to open an account here? Yeah, so that's actually one of the more attractive options is the fact that uh, you can actually open an account remotely. Uh, most, most international banks would require you to travel to the jurisdiction, uh, whereas you can just email or, or give us a call and um, yeah, we can start the process at any time. Great. So if anyone has any specific questions to themselves, we're going to put Luigi's contact info up below here. And if you want to start the process potentially to open an account, you can reach out to Luigi as well. Aside from that, Luigi, thank you so much, man, for taking the time. Thanks, Will. Thanks, man. Really appreciate it and look forward to hearing from you guys as well.